Hi, I'm Natalie from the DNR Outdoor Adventure Center with a neighborhood creature quiz for you. This creature is one that we often see in our parks and neighborhoods. It is officially classified in the order Lagomorpha, so we would call them Lagomorphs. Let's look at some clues that tell us what it is. One of the ways scientists have classified mammals is by their skulls and teeth. The types of teeth that a mammal has is referred to as its dentition. At first, this skull may look like it is from a rodent, as it does have two incisors at the top and at the bottom, and a large gap between the front and the back teeth. However, there is a key difference. Lagomorphs actually have a hidden set of incisors, a second set behind the top incisors. This helps them to easily nip their food for easy eating. Looking at a pelt from this species, the fur color is a grayish brown throughout with some white. While it's not shown here, it does have a round white tail. This common animal of woodland edges, parks, and neighborhoods often uses brush piles for shelter. They feed on green plants like clover, but may also do serious damage in a garden. In fact, in folklore and cartoons, they often eat carrots. Can you guess who this neighborhood creature is? Answer in three, two, one. If you guessed Eastern Cottontail Rabbit, you're right. While they could be active any time of day, cottontails tend to be most active in the early morning and in the evening, so that is the best time to look for them in your neighborhood. The lagomorph order of mammals includes rabbits, hares, and pikas. As we come into spring, you may come across a nest of Eastern Cottontails in your yard. Even though you may not see their mom, she likely has not abandoned them. They will sometimes leave their nest unattended to avoid detection by predators. It is always best to observe adults and babies from a distance though. Even if you think the babies are alone, mom is likely watching from nearby and will return when she feels it is safe. When in doubt, it is always best to keep our wildlife wild. You can learn more about rabbits and other Michigan wildlife by visiting the following websites. Thanks for joining me for Neighborhood Creature Quiz. See you next time.